Howdy, and welcome to this video introduction to my new plugin called CD FBX Import and Export. This plugin adds FBX support for characters that have been rigged and animated with CD character plugins. Although the plugin only supports characters rigged with CD joints, CD skin, and CD morph, it does also support other scene elements such as cameras, lights, materials, etc. It also supports exporting point level animation to Vertex Cache. This includes PLA tracks, cloth hildy, and meshes with deformer animation. The plugin does include runtime versions of the CD joint object, CD skin tag, and CD morph tags so that characters can still be imported into Cinema 4D if those other plugins are not installed. The plugin consists of two menu commands, one for export and one for import. So let's first take a look at the export command. Here I have a character with an animated walk cycle. And what I'll do is uh, export this out to FBX and then import it into Maya PLE. So I'll select the export command. And this brings up a dialog with uh, the export options here. So I want to export CD joints, meshes, I want to export animation and because this animation was created by setting keys on the rigs controllers I also want to bake the joints on export and we'll bake position and rotation. Uh, now Maya is a right-handed coordinate system so uh, here we can choose left or right so we choose right and I'm going to set the scale at 0 0.02. And uh, when I click OK, it brings up the Take Manager. Now, the Take Manager allows you to split up a scene's animation into separate takes simply by adding more takes and setting the uh, start and end frames for each take. Uh, this is not a true take system, but it, it's sort of a workaround to allow you to uh, uh, export a file with more than one take. Uh, since this file is only going to have one take, I'll delete that one, and I'll name this walk, and click OK, and we'll name the file cowboy walk. There we go. Now I'll we'll switch over to Maya PLE and we'll import an FBX. We'll select the cowboy walk and import. And there we have the character with the walk cycle imported into Maya. Uh, you can see that all of the materials have been imported and also the texture map for the eyes. If I go into wireframe mode and select the root joint, I can uh, go to the bind pose. In this example, I have a cloth hildy simulation, and what I want to do is export this out to an FBX vertex cache and then import that into Maya PLE. Um, let's uh, select the export command here, and in the dialog, uh, I'll turn off joints and I'll turn on cloth hildy to vertex cache click OK. Now in the Take Manager, the Take Manager looks at the first key of the document and the last key of the document and it sets that as the default range for the take. 
Um, but the only thing that's actually keyed in this is the pyramid object. The cloth Hilde simulation goes from frame 0 to frame 180. So I'm going to change the start to 0 and the end to 180. And click OK. Now uh, here I have an issue. Uh, the FBX library has a bug in it when it comes to writing vertex cache data. For some reason it does not see uh, folder names that have spaces in them. It will go ahead and write an FBX file to a folder name with spaces but it will fail to write vertex cache data. So I'm going to first change the name of this folder. So we'll go to the finder and what I'll do is I'll just replace the uh, spaces with underscores and now I can uh, successfully write vertex cache data to that folder. So let's try this again. We'll go to export and as you can see the settings, the previous settings have been saved in the dialog so I'll just click OK and I'll set my range 180 click OK, select the folder, and I'll call this, oops, cloth test. You can see it's writing the take, and now it's writing the vertex cache data. OK, so we go into Maya, import, We'll import uh, FBX, FBX file, and you can see here is the folder with the vertex cache data in it. We'll select the FBX file, import, and there we have the cloth Hilde simulation imported into Maya. In this example, we'll export CD Morph to FBX Blend Shapes. And uh, I'll use my uh, stop staring setup here for the export file. And we'll uh, select CD Joints, Meshes, CD Morphs. We don't need animation. And I'm going to change the scale of this to 0.1 one simply because this was a small uh, model and uh, click on OK I'll name it CD morph test click on save and it's gonna take a little while because there are quite a few uh, morphs in this uh, setup. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Okay, the file is finished writing, so uh, let's go into Maya PLE and we'll import FBX, select CD Morph Test, and import. Uh, it might take a little while. Uh, because there's quite a few uh, morphs there. Ah, there we go. Okay, if I... Let's go into high quality render. And if I select the head mesh, you can see head mesh blend shaper here. We'll click on that. And there we have all of the blend shapes imported. Now let's try one out. We'll uh, select the open. There we go. Looks like, th looks like they're all working. Smile right. Yep, that one's working. So there we have uh, all of the CD morphs imported into Maya. Okay, let's take a look at the import command. 
I'll select uh, CD import FBX and I'll select a file and open and this brings up the uh, import options dialog where I can uh, choose which elements of the FBX file I want to import. So for this file I'll choose CD joints, meshes, animation, and here I can select which take to import and click OK. And there we have the FBX file imported with the animation. And if I select the skin tag, I can return to the bind pose. And you can see that the textures and UVs were also imported correctly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you find the CDFBX import and export plugin useful. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Adios.